There are many times where we we're, we're given some good advice not to do something, not to go along and do something in our arrogance or our pride, you know, or something like that. And we we just go hard-headedly, go do it anyway. You know, that's what we see David did uh, over here when he took the census in Israel. You know, I was thinking about that this morning because <laughs> um, Job had uh, told him, he said, look, don't go doing this, don't go doing this. You know, the, he said, you know, God's going to add. He, he's, he's, he's added to us, you know what I mean? He said... He said, now may the Lord your God add to the people a hundred times as many as there are while the eyes of the Lord the king star. But why does my Lord delight to do this thing? See, he wanted to go number the people of Israel, maybe like in his prayer, like, oh, look what, look what I've done. Look at these, this nation I've built or something, you know. And uh, come down to it and what David say, he said, uh, he, he, was, he was left with a choice here. You know, it said, look, he said, this... Uh, he said, look, what you've done, you've sinned. you sinned against the Lord. And it says David's heart was troubled after him. This, this, There's two scriptures on this. This one's in uh, 2 Samuel 24, 10. David's heart was troubled after him. He had numbered the people. So David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly in what I've done. But now, O Lord, please take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have acted very foolishly. When David arose in the morning, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and speak to David. Thus says the Lord, thus the Lord says, I am offering you three things. Choose for yourself one of them, which I will do to you. So Gad came to David and told him and said to him, Shall seven years of famine come to you in your land, or will you flee three months before your foes while they pursue you, or shall there be three days of pestilence in your land? Now consider and see what answer I shall return to him who sent me. That's what David said. Then David said to Gad, I am in great distress. Let us now fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great, but do not let me fall into the hand of man. You know, and that's what I wanted to magnify here. He knew. Now think about that. If he had fell into the hand of man and he had chose some of man's judgments, just think how man would be. I mean, You'd be like, Job told you not to do this. One of your highest ranking officers told you not to do this. You know what I mean? What kind of what you know what I mean? What kind of <laughs> you know what I mean? And imagine maybe the 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 weight that would have come down. But anyway, so a pestilence still come on the land and all this kind of thing. But I just wanted to magnify that. You know, it says over in Proverbs that many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. You know, it's in the Lord that true justice is found, and it's in Him. You know, and that's why that's why you'll hear me talking about many times of knowing who you are in Christ and what He says about you. Because man, when you fall into the hands of man, He's gonna generally, you know what I mean? He's gonna He's He ain't gonna give you the mercy that He's looking for. You know what I'm saying? It's like we love justice whenever it's somebody else against us but we love mercy when it's us that does it you know oh that man the, the man that's judging you he would be looking for mercy if he was in your place you know what i'm saying but we know that true justice the one that knows how to operate in true justice and 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 mercy you know what i mean is is christ is 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 you know it's 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 our lord it's our father so anyway i would just want to encourage you um if you're seeking um if you're Whatever you're seeking, if you're seeking affirmation, if you're seeking mercy, if you're seeking, go to the Lord. You know what I mean? Go to the Lord. Take it to Him. He is the one. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, this is this is the judgment that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, for their deeds were evil. You know, I mean, David, he, how many times had, did you see God moving in his life? You know what I mean? And he still needed the mercy, mercy of God. I think often even about, you know, I was thinking about Peter yesterday, you know, how many times he had to be corrected by the Lord. And even after he was filled with the Spirit of God, been, you know what I mean, been uh, in the ministry and everything, Paul had to correct him. You know, so pe people don't always have it right, but we're, we need to always be growing in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so anyway... Um, Lord, help us to be mercy, merciful even to others. You know, it says, with the merciful, you show yourself merciful. With the crooked, you show yourself crooked, you know. There's some people that they see God in a certain way and they just like look at Him like it's just all, uh, 
judgment or whatever. Anyway, God, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same God of mercy. He's always been a God of merciful. He's a God of judgment. He's a God. He's a hundred percent in unity with himself all the time. So anyway, I'm just saying this morning, I'm putting my life in his hands. I'm putting my faith and trust in Christ and in Christ alone. Uh, like it says, it is by grace that we are saved by faith. It's not of ourselves. It's the gift of God. You can be born again today. Truly believe in your heart that God ra raised Jesus from the dead. It's the resurrection of the dead. If, 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 if we have hope in this life only, we're of all men most to be pitied. We have hope in the resurrection of the dead. Eternal life. It's a living hope we've been born again to. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Confess him with your mouth as Lord. Believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. You confess with your mouth um, unto salvation. You believe in your heart unto righteousness. God bless you all. Uh, know that it is uh, God that works in you to will and do for his good pleasure. So continue to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. God bless. Have a wonderful day.